most of us farmers, whenever we want to go into farming, we get too excited and our excitement makes us do things that we end up regretting. For example, spending money on things that we don't need. When I wanted to start my livestock farm, I was in the US. So guess what I did? I went to the biggest shops like Tractor Supply, like Walmart, went to Costco, bought things, irrigation things, tools that I think I would need and brought all of them to Ghana very expensively just to find out that most of those things, number one, can be found in Ghana cheaply. Number two, those weren't my priority things and I didn't need them and they have ended up in my garage since then. And that is why today I'm gonna to dedicate this video to talk about the three most important things a livestock farmer needs and that I personally use on a daily basis here at my farm. So stay tuned if you wanna know what are the three most important things that I use on a daily basis here at Simon Share Farms. Welcome back guys, and I'm glad you stick around because I'm happy to be as transparent as usual and share with you guys the three most important tools that I use here at my farm, why I use them and why I think if you're a livestock farmer or even thinking about going into livestock farming, you will need to help you in various ways, in being productive, in being efficient, and in being cost effective. I think these are the three things I look at it. Why? Because I run my farm as a business and I want you to run your farm as a business as well. So without wasting much time, let's dive right into it. I've told you guys my mistake. I have bought so many things in the past for my farm that I didn't even need it. Why? Because I was just excited. I thought I was, build, I was gonna build a princess farm, a beautiful farm. But when reality sets in, you will now realize that you need other things much more than you need this. Number one, what do I want to talk about? The number one thing I will want to talk about that has been very productive and efficient for us in this farm as a livestock farmer is scale. I'm not talking about your normal scale that you hang or is used to weigh fish and meat and so on in cold stores. I'm talking about a livestock skill that we have here at our farm. Why is skill so important to us? It is because it informs everything I do here at the farm. Number one, I want to know the growth of my animals. So in this farm, every two weeks, we weigh every single animal. Once you identify the weight of an animal, it again tells you everything you need to do. What food program do you put that animal on? What genetic of animal is growing and not growing, right? Again, is the animal sick or not? Because when an animal is eating well and is not gaining weight, as a farmer, you're losing money. You either have to get rid of the animal or you need to start observing that animal to see if it's really eating or is he being pushed around during dinner or lunch time. Right, so it, it gives you a lot of things. Even deworming, it can tell you whether you need to deworm the animal or not, right? Number two, I weigh my animals once I get the weight of the animal. It also helps me in grouping them. So mostly our animals are grouped by sex and by weight. So if an animal is like 60 um, kg, I will not put a 60 kg animal in the same pen as a 15 kg animal they need to be separated, right? Whether it's a kid and a mom, or whether it's two moms, but one is bigger than the other, you wanna do them by size, because once you mix a younger and a bigger animal together, the bigger one is always gonna be abusing the, the younger one. And what means is that the younger one is not gonna be growing at the rate at which you want, right? So weighing them is an important and a date that we don't miss at the farm and you can weigh them without having a skill. Obviously, there are other ways of weighing, checking the weight of your animal, but in our farm, we have this skill, and this skill has been one of the best and most efficient tool for us. So if you're gonna go into a livestock farm, cattle, goat, sheep, whatever, make sure that you have a skill right at your farm where you can weigh your animal consistently. The second most important tool that every livestock farmer needs. I've combined these two 
machines as one is a chaff cutter and a pallet machine. Let me tell you why a chaff cutter is important to us. I started from day one having a chaff cutter. As a livestock farmer, you are going to start cutting some grass or whether it be silage, whatever you're going to use to prepare your feed. Once you have that grass and you're feeding to your livestock, a grass is normally four feet all the way to maybe two feet. When a goat or a sheep or a cow pick that grass and bites it, it only gets about an inch into their mouth. Guess what happened? The rest of it falls down and they pull and pee on it and it goes to waste. What happens to your food? You're getting at minimum, maybe even 1% of your food. So imagine if you're buying this, you're losing a lot of money. With this machine called a chaff cutter, you are able to cut your grass or corn stalk into smaller pieces. Don't forget, ruminants like goat, cow and sheep eat with their tongue. So when it's smaller, they are able to pick with their tongue and swallow everything and you're able to preserve your food. And that is why this machine is very, very important at your farm as a livestock farmer. Chaff cutters are all over the place. If you need one, you can contact us um, at our grow shop in Achimoto or come visit us and you can get some for yourself as well. I told you I was going to talk to you about two machines. So the chaff cutter I just spoke about, the next one is the pallet machine and I combine this because they will go hand in hand. The pallet machine is basically more of preservation and more of adjectives. So as you know, here in farming in Africa, we've been pushing the sementia seeds, which is the seed of grass that we plant and then process or allow our goats to graze on it. That seed, as nutritious as it is, you cannot give only that. You need to add other nutrients. Goats and other livestock do not need only protein. They need potassium, they need copper, they need zinc, they need iron, they need phosphorus, they need selenium. They need calcium, all these nutrients. How do you add all these nutrients together for your goats? Most of these nutrients comes in a powder form. With goats, if you give them powder, you expose them to cough and pneumonia. So as you're giving them the grass, which has protein and some fiber in it, how do you give the other nutrients? The way you do that is by mixing that with the grass and using a pallet machine to generate your pallet feed. And that's what we do here at the farm, right? So whatever nutrient you have, maybe you have soya beans, you have some wheat ground, you have um, even identify a plant, you don't, in the rainy season, you have it abundance, in the dry season, you don't. You can palletize that plant and have that feed stored for as long as six months. So that is why the pallet machine is such a useful machine that we have here that we use to process all our feed. But for you to use it for grass, you will need a chaff cutter to cut it into smaller pieces before you put it into the pallet machine and now be able to palletize it, right? So this is why these two machines are so important here at my farm. So you guys have three machines now. I promise you three, but I combined two into one so you have it. The final equipment that I have at this farm that have been a lifesaver for me is a tricycle. So the tricycle is called so many different names. Um, here in my community, we call it the Azonto. Um, I bought that. I've actually bought two of those tricycle in the course of five years. That is the most handiest thing, not equipment that I have here. Not everybody can afford to have a pickup or a tractor as a small scale farmer. But if you can get a tricycle, logistically, it will help you from day one, I promise you. Because day one, you will need to construct your pen. Whilst constructing your pen, you need materials. If you don't have a tricycle, you will have to pay either a, a pickup or another tricycle commercially to bring your goods here. So you will need it in transporting back and forth everything that you buy from town to your farm. Secondly, even in the midst of your farm, transporting feed from one area to the other, you will need this tricycle. There may times you might get an emergency where you need to actually bring water from somewhere instead of your farm. You will need a tricycle. 
There are times you have to even carry workers from your farm to a different place or from a different place to your farm. You will need a tricycle. It's just been, there are times I even buy goats with the tricycle when it's just from another farm close by me to this farm. So it's just been a lifesaver. So please, if you can afford it, if you have the means, if you have the access, I don't know where you can find it based on where you are, but go get yourself a tricycle. I bought twice and they've worked perfectly for me and we still use it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's an investment that you will not regret it. Don't go and buy toys that you would need it from day one, day two. Trust me, I've been there, I've done it. It's not worth it. Buy the things that you will need that will help you grow faster. So wrapping up with the three most important machines that you need at your farm, I spoke about number one, you need a livestock scale because you need to weigh your animals frequently to know who is growing, who is not growing, what food plant do you put them on. If you need that skills, let us know we have it at our Agro Venture. We can help you with it. Number two is a combination of a chaff cutter and a pallet machine. Chaff cutter helps you to be efficient by cutting your grass, cutting your maize stock into pieces so that you avoid waste and you get the best out of it for your livestock. Pallet machine helps you to process your feed, other nutrients together with other raw materials to have feed stored for your livestock as well. Then finally, the last one was a tricycle, which we use here at our farm for logistics to move goods up and down. These three machines has been the best machines for us. And I can promise you that if you buy it, you will never regret investing in those. It will help you in running a successful livestock farm. These are the three things that I can share with you guys as we go into 2024. It's been a blessing to me, but I'll continue sharing with you more knowledge about what is working and what is not working for us because I think we need to grow together as African farmers. So here on this channel, the goal is to share all knowledge. Feel free to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends as well so that this knowledge just doesn't sit in your head, but everybody can have access to it. We don't want to lose money this year. We want to farm as a business here together with Farming in Africa. I will see you in the next episode.